All right, guys. All right. So my apologies for being a few minutes late to the stream. But uh, yeah, literally I to sit down and my dad's like, oh, can you come and help me with my computer? The settings aren't working. And uh, yeah, he just wasn't logged into the right account. So yeah, it happens. It happens. But uh, yeah, here we are. Time for another wee sort of unboxing, unbagging stream. So it's always do. I'm coming equipped my Pepsi Max. And there we are. So there we are. See, we're getting some comments already. Just give me a second. Because <laughs> I've got my Pepsi ready. There we go. So we've got two. Um, Big Kev is there. Will you still have a man bun? Place your bets, folks. No disrespect. I haven't turned tuned into your videos for a while, but I used to love your reviews in the past. I've not seen you about for a while, Kev, actually. That's a good point. It's a good point. Where have you been? Where have you been? Uh, ah, the drums are ready to play. Yeah, I remember that. I loved the comments from the um I love the comments from the beer hooligan uh, about that. He's not professional, he's covering up things with his he's covering up things with his, his covers, because he's hiding something, isn't it? He is. But yeah, Purple James is back. I've even got, you know, I've got good lighting now, and it's, I don't know what it is about this room. I don't know what it is about the room. So the room is like this kind of gray color. This is actually like, you know, dark black. Let me actually try something that is purple. Wait a second. So, do this. Do this. Do this. <laughs> this. This. It's exactly, oh, that's weird. Look, my Durham University hoodie, this is actually purple. This isn't purple, this is black. But yeah, there's like no contrast. That's weird. So yeah, purple, yeah, in the purple, I forgot to click on Severio's con comment as well. Purple James is back. Purple James is back with his purple hoodie. Yeah. So, yeah, how are you, Severio, anyway? How are you? How is everybody? Yeah, all right. So, anyway. Little sip of Pepsi Max, and there we go. So yeah, um, I don't think I've done a live back in, in the motherland since I've come back this time. I've been on a few others live streams, but um, not, I've not done my own. So yeah, no, I've been busy over the last couple of weeks. Um, first weekend home, I had my friend Darren's stag do. So we went and did some like four before driving, some uh, shooting and stuff like this and then we also did some uh, like boating and, that, and it was really good fun then the next week we went up to Aberdeen and did like a craft beer pub crawl my friend Grant who is a delayed stag do for him he already got married he, we did six degrees north original brew dog bar and we did um fierce beer as well so he got very 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 drunk and he survived so that's always good that is always good and then uh, this week I've been doing a few bits and bobs. Um, I've got my rented kilt stuff ready for Saturday and I have to go and help my friends set up for the wedding uh, tomorrow as well. So yeah, getting so wedding on Saturday and uh, yeah, that is my after Saturday, that will be my best man duties uh, over. So yeah, good. We're getting a few more folk coming in just now. So yeah, Valdo's drinking the Hofboy, Hofboy, there, Hofbrau, Oktoberfest beer that I got from Douglas. It's awesome, awesome. Yeah, I've not had that one in quite a wee while actually. Thomas Windowbeer is saying hello. Thomas is Thomas and I will be doing a. Um, Thomas is do, Thomas and I will be doing an interview together next Wednesday. So keep your eyes peeled for that. That'll be. Eight o'clock. Uh, it'll be eight o'clock Irish Scottish time. So um, that'll be yeah, eight o'clock Irish Scottish time, and that yeah. So that'll be nine o'clock European time. We'll need to see about that. Might need to make it an hour earlier or whatever. We'll figure that out. But yeah, we'll do <laughs> do that. My brain is not working today, guys. Definitely not. Um. So. Uh, Kev is saying he's always suspicious of guys with man buns, to be honest. Until my brother started wearing one, I said, not having it at first, but soon learned that I couldn't judge about its cover. Man bun, <laughs> man bun convert. I am. Oh, dear. Yeah. <laughs> I always I remember your comments, Big Kev. 
Is it Big Kev be Leith? I'm remembering right. Were you from Leith in Edinburgh? Yeah, you're a high bee, I think. Um, I'm still waiting for your review of the Italian beer that you filmed. At least I hope. Which one? I've done a few Italian. There's been a few Italian reviews gone up quite recently, Severio, but you've not been as active as you once were. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, anyway, we've got some. We have a box of beer to look at. Oh, let me get rid of this. Let me get rid of this. Uh, we've got more comments coming. Up. What am I drinking? Pepsi Max. Pepsi Max. With laced with vodka, of course. No really. But yeah, we have a box of foreign ale, foreign beer. Foreign beef and foreign brewers. Um, uh, so yeah, drinking Pepsi Max just because I, I feel like a beer today. But, and then we have, I don't know what this guy's name is, but many comments from him recently. So Zdrovia, yeah, nice to have you along from Russia. What is your name? What is your first name? You never mentioned that in your comments, but cool to have uh, a Russian along as well. I need to go and visit Russia now I have my Swedish passport. Oh, yeah. Okay, so guys, this box that I'm doing is, um, this box that I'm doing is courtesy of Paul Rogers from, where did I put his business card? It's in here, from Dal Riada, Dal Riada Imports, who specialise in bringing Irish beer into Scotland, and they are looking to do it further afield. So let me have a look at this. Um, yeah, there you are. So these beers come courtesy of Dalariada Imports, Irish beer distributor, Paul Rogers, very, very nice guy. I bought him brunch today and he gave me lots and lots of beers. So good times, good times were had. Um, yeah, there's about... I think there's about 20 beers in here, actually. It gave me quite a lot, I have to say. So lots of Irish reviews to come up. Lots of Irish reviews to come up. Mm. So this, of course, will be up Thomas's Street. So if you're interested in Irish beer, you can check out Thomas at Window Beer Reviews. And there's also Brandon's Beer Reviews as well that you can check out. So uh, yeah, two guys who are doing some very nice reviews over in Ireland. So, um, yeah, let's have a little look at these then. So, the first one we have, um, this one is from, I think these guys are from Northern, oh no, these guys are actually um, from the Republic. I thought these guys were Northern Irish. But uh, yeah, this one is from Dot Brew. So it's called Drop, uh, Double Dry Hopped Session IPA. So yeah, 4.5% ABV. And apparently it's hopped with Centennial, Mosaic and Simcoe. So that should be quite nice. So yeah, Dot Brew Drop Session IPA. Um, yeah, I think this will be good. This will be a nice one. Um, yeah, let's see. Severio's commenting again. Let's see. Um, we still have... E you need to see it's still sorting out a few things, Severio. Still got quite a bit of beer to work through at the moment that um, I want to get through before I take an Italian box. Um, yeah, I've ended up with a lot of beer again. It's just it's never ending. It's never ending. But I think, yeah, your box is the next. Your box will be the next one that I take. Definitely. So we'll uh, we'll figure that out. Definitely, your box is going to be the next one. But as for when, I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm not 100 percent sure about that unfortunately. Um, so, um, colourless blue things, good news, always interested in your Irish reviews. Cool. Yeah, no, we've not had an Irish review in quite a wee while, actually, so that's it. So, um, yeah, we have another one at Brewery. I think these, I'm sure Paul said these guys, yeah, these guys are from Port Rush. So, this one got a bit of a dent on the can, actually. But, um, yeah, this one, Lacada Brewery Cooperative, West Bay, Citra Paleo. So this one, I think, could be quite nice. Nice artwork, I have to say. Not sure how well. Keep doing that, camera. There you go. Lacada. So this one comes in at a... Where is it? 
where is it? 4.6% ABV. So yeah, 4.6% ABV, American Paleo. And uh, yeah, it's just a, it's, it only says barley malt. So I'm guessing this will be an old school in the West Coast type Paleo. So yeah, this should be quite nice to do as well. Quite a few like lighter strength beers here, which will be nice just for sessioning. Ah. Amazing memory. Yep, I'm from Leith. We have some battle on other streams in the past. Can't believe you remember me. I'm actually, you know, I'm actually quite good at that. My memory, how do you say? I've got a very good contextual memory, I think. But I do struggle. If I don't have the contextual cue, then I forget shit. That's it. But my memory is very, is uh, very good. If I'm given some sort of cue, I'll remember random stuff. Absolutely. But yeah. <laughs> uh, and we've got Brett, one of them, always, always, man, always, especially when you've got your pink hair, because that's when you're your sexiest, babes. That is when you are fucking stunning, like yours, but not, not quite as tan. Yeah. Always, Brett, always. Always. Um, you don't see much of the Northern Irish down south. Interesting to see what they're like. Yeah, I think it's interesting to hear that. Interesting to hear. For sure. Um, yeah, there's quite a wee bit of stuff um, from Northern Ireland. Um, but I'm surprised to hear it doesn't make it down south, especially since Northern Ireland are technically in the EU free trade area, actually. So that's surprising. That is surprising to hear, Thomas. And we've got Leonard. He's, 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 a, he's from a Belgian man from Belgium. Some of his letters in his name isn't even in the British alphabet. So, yeah. Now, Leonard, nice to have you along. I hope you're enjoying Scotland, and we need to figure out when we are going to meet up. Actually, Monday or... Monday could be good. Sunday. Yeah, we can figure that out. But, yeah, he's foreign. He's a Belgian man in a foreign country called Scotland. But it's not Scotland. It's West Denmark. Or North, North East... North East, North Ireland. Say that. <laughs> it's not Scott. Right. So anyway, now that I'm done pissing a bit with that, our next one then. Our next one. So this one, Mourn Mountains Brewery. I think this will be quite interesting, this one. So this is a vegan chocolate and vanilla marble cake stout. 8% ABV. ABV. Moto Psycho Nightmare. Sounds good, eh? Um, so yeah, this is another brewery that I'll need to make some notes for, because I've never done any, never done anything from these guys. Might have to email them if there's no um, no stuff about. But um, yeah, the Moor Mountains Brewery, pretty good. The, it says the Wayne Brewery underneath. Okay, see, there's uh, 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 Wayne Brewery. Maybe it's a different brand or something like that. Um. Yeah, Warren Point. Hmm. Maybe these guys, is this from the north? Because the BT 34 3 pm, that sounds like a UK thing that's talking about UK units. So, yeah, this I think this must be a Northern Irish brewery rather than a Republic. So, yeah. That should be interesting. The Moto Psycho Nightmare, an 8% vegan chocolate and vanilla marble cake stuff. Never had a marble cake in my life, but there we go. So that is beer number three. The next one, this is another brewery that I've not had. Is it just called, what I think? Modest beer. So this one is another Northern Irish beer. It's uh, the, mod it's uh, it's calm. the Modest beer. This one is called the Richly Nostalgic Oatmeal Stout. Mm. So yeah, this one comes in 5.2% ABV. It's got probably my least favorite hop in the world in it, Fuggles. <laughs> I hate that hop. But in fairness, I say that, it is actually quite good. It is actually quite good um, when it comes to darker beers. And it's, oh, it's got a Bernie yeast. Sanders. Mm -hmm. Sanders yeast. All hail Bernie, feel the burn. Yeah, and then it's got quite a nice malt bill on it. So yeah, Maris Otter, Naked Oats, Amber Brown, Pale chocolate and light crystal malts. Carafa number three. That's good. So that's beer number four. Modest beers. Oatmeal stout. Pretty good. The camera hates that one. But I think the camera just hates this room. Yeah. Oh, and you can say hello. Jimmy. Hi, 
Okay. Oh. Kenny, I love South Park, man. Too much. Too much. Yeah, yeah there we go. So, um, Northern Ireland, yeah. Uh, in Falkirk currently, I had a good first day height from Edinburgh to Lithgow. Why the fuck would you want to go to Falkirk? But if you're in Falkirk, you're only about 15 miles away from me, something like that. So, yeah. Why would you go to Falkirk though? <laughs> There's nothing in Falkirk except junkies. Um, yeah. But uh, so since you have so much beer to review, since I would send a few more, maybe we could have an exchange of some beer that you have in your cellar. I actually don't have any beers that aren't for review. <laughs> That's the if I had doubles, we could do that, sure. But I don't I don't buy beer that I don't review. I don't buy beer just to, to drink, to be honest with you. That's the problem. And a lot of the beer that I've got has been given to me, so I need to review pretty much all of them. So, uh, yeah, but yeah, we we'll need to do that. We will sort out an Italian box at some stage, as we say. Um, yeah, can't believe that. He comes comes from Belgium to go and see Scotland, he goes to Falkirk. Something wrong with you, Leonard. Something wrong. Could be worse. You could be in Govan. Yeah, all right. So, our next one then, uh, our next one, Crossroads from Kinnegar, Kinnegar Brewery. So yeah, this one, an American style IPA. What percentage is it? 6.2% ABV. I don't think I had this one. I think we had like a rye IPA last time, which was quite nice and maybe a black IPA. So yeah, this will be interesting to try something from the light end of the spectrum from these guys. I might turn one of these lights off because it's, yeah, that's better. It's less purple. That is a bit better. It's not reflecting as much. So there you are. Kinnegar Brewery, uh, Amer Crossroads American IPA, 6.2% ABV. That is pretty nice. So yeah, that's beer number five. And feels pretty solid, actually. So yeah, <laughs> we have more. Jeez, I think. We have a few from Kinnegar actually this time. So, oh, there's a bit of tape stuck to this one. Cool. Got that later. Um, but yeah, Scraggy B, another IPA. This one. So, this is 5.3% ABV. Uh, and this one has wheat in it. So, maybe this is going to be a little bit more New England day, the Scraggy B IPA. So, yeah. I do like how that goes together as well. The Kinnegar, sorry, the artwork on these is quite nice. It's quite classic, but at the same time, sort of quite modern. So um, yeah, that is pretty nice. So we have Kinnegar, really nice. Yeah, I like the, the last beers that I had from them. I think it's going to be interesting to try a few different things, actually. So that will be quite cool to try a few of the different ones. Oh, here's the man himself. We've got crazy bearded beer reviews, Mr. Joe Gansell. Um, but um, yeah, it's it's nice to have you along as always, Joe. You and I need to talk because I might be in your part of the world next year. Um, so yeah, I'm hiking towards Stirling and I had to stop here for the day. That's the only reason. <laughs> Enjoying a nice beer in a very weird pub. What pub are you in? What's the name of the pub? Tell me. <laughs> I know a very bad Rangers bar. I know a very bad Rangers bar in, um, I know a very bad Rangers bar in, in, in Falkirk. So I hope you're not there. I hope you're not there. Uh, it's, especially since you're phone. Um, but yeah, Dunfermline FC are shite. Sorry, I remember you're a fan of this team. I might be wrong. Anyway, get it right up you. <laughs> you're shite this season, man. Peter Grant, he needs to be sacked. Peter Grant needs to go. I don't know what the hell is going on. Um, something's not right at the club at the moment, but around they've gone a round of games now without a win. They've picked up, I think, four points. He should be gone. Peter Grant should be gone. Maybe it's at five points. I don't know. Still equally as bad. Mm. So, anyway, the next one, another Kinnegar, um, Big Bunny. So this one is a New England IPA, East Coast style IPA. This one is a six percenter. So um, yeah, a 6% New England one. This Does it say what hops and stuff? No, I need to have a look at that. It's gonna sit my backside down again. But uh, yeah, again, reminds me of the rabbits from Wallace and Gromit that. 
it does. But yeah, another nice beer. Um, let's see anything else. Wheaty says it's a wheaty leaning IPA. That will be quite nice. But these guys are from the Republic. If I remember rightly, yeah, County Donegal. So from the, the if from the north of Southern Ireland, you know, from the north, Donegal is in the west. It's nearly, it's nearly East America, isn't it? So, hmm, hmm. See, um, so the next one, oh, it's a paleo, right? So another kind of gar. This one is the line burner. A paleo comes in at 4.7% ABV. Um, doesn't say anything, it just talks about coordinates and stuff. It doesn't say, but this one is it going to be barley and wheat? So, yeah, not sure exactly what kind of paleo that's going to be, but yeah, that's a four nice kind of gar beers we've got. So, we'll need to spread those out a little bit, I guess. Start from the lowest alcohol and go up to the highest. Um, but the other ones, I think, are from breweries that we have not had before. So this will be quite good. This will be quite good. So this next one, we have uh, Bullhouse Brewing Company. So these guys are from Belfast. This is called Frank the Tank. Yeah. But I'm sure that I'm sure that Warpigs had. Uh, I'm sure that Warpigs had a beer called Frank the Tank, and it was really good. It was a pale ale as well, oddly enough. But yeah, number 29, doesn't say what hops are in it though, but that's a five percenter and it's vegan friendly. I think you'll never catch me being a vegan. I couldn't do that. I like cheese too much and I like kangaroo too much. But yeah, never going to be a vegan. Yeah, but yeah, Balmoral Road, Belfast. But yeah, these beers have been getting a good, a good reputation actually. And then we have another one from Bullhouse. So this, oh, this is at the other end of the scale now. So this one is the Big Axe, um, an 8% double IPA. That I'm sure is going to be very nice. Yeah, I need to do my research on Bullhouse Brewing Company. So yeah, an 8%, an 8% double IPA, this one. Um, yeah, this should be pretty good, actually. Um, yeah, can's pretty solid there as well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the big axe double IPA. That should be nice. Um, oh, right, we're going on to another brewery now. I've just seen a couple of the comments come in. So uh, let me know. I'll research beers for you to try. Definitely do that. Definitely do that. <laughs> um, the New Market Bar. That's nice. Uh, I need to check that one. Is that the one I think it is? The New Market Bar. Upper Market Hall Street, Falkirk. Uh, oh, I know where you are. You're right on the main street of Falkirk. Yeah, that's a weird pub. That is a weird pub. <laughs> yeah, don't, yeah. <laughs> are you staying in a hotel then, Leonard, or what are you doing afterwards? Um, speaking of Belgium stuff, uh, I'm just drinking a Waterloo Triple Blonde from the brewery, John Martin AC. Um, good, but I've drunk better blondes. Okay. All right. I've not heard of that one, actually. Uh, but cheers, brother. We've got Paul coming in. Nice to have you along, Paul. Hi, PA. Cheers, Tom. There we go. All right. So let's go to our next beers then. Let's have a look at this. So for this one, we are going to the north again, if I remember rightly. These guys are from, yeah, these guys are from the north because it's a code UK address that's in this one. So this beer is called Bring the Thunder, and this is a raspberry, cherry, and coconut sour. That sounds quite interesting. So it comes in, what percentage is it? Does it say? Hmm, that's helpful. Doesn't it say what percentage it is? Oh no, it does, yeah, 6.8%. So yeah, this one, Beer Hut, Bring the Thunder, a 6.8% raspberry, cherry, coconut sour. That'd be interesting for sure. So um, yeah, looking forward to that. Looking forward to this one. Beer Hut have been getting some very, very good ratings, of course. Um, and we also, oh, this is going to be good, I think. This will be good. So Beer Hut Brewing Company, Solo Series, Strata IP. I love Strata hops. Love these ones. I can't remember what 
fruit it, is, it gives you. It's gone right up my head, but Strata, I know, is a hop that I, when I tried it for the first time, I really enjoyed it. So this is going to be a really interesting one to try as, um, this is going to be really interesting to try on its, um, on its own, if you like. It'd be interesting to try it on its own. So a 6% here, and this one again is from um, Beer Hut in Khalil. I'm not sure exactly where Khalil is. Let me just have a little look at this. Um, Khalil down in Northern Ireland. Let's have a little look. Mm -hmm. County down. County down. County down. Where is it? Oh, it's right at the bottom. It's right in the southeast of North Northern Ireland. Mm. Okay. Tiny wee place. Quite close to Dundalk, actually. Dundalk. Yeah, that is pretty cool. So, yeah, Beer Hut Oat Solo Series Strata IPA, 6%. Cool to finally get some of these to review on the channel. So, again, a big thank you to Paul for making these Irish reviews possible. So, yeah, let's have a look. Our next one, another, oh, it's a biggie. This is a biggie. So, Beer Hut Brewing Company, Galaxy Mosaic Cornet, double IPA. So, yeah, this one, an 8%er. And yeah, that should be quite nice. Looking forward to these beer hot ones. Like I said, I've been hearing very, very good things about their beers. So, and we've got Thomas saying uh, beer hut is usually pretty solid. Thomas knows what knows what he's saying. So if he's saying these are good, we're in for a bit of a treat with these reviews. Um, so yeah, double IPA, 8% ABV, Galaxy and Mosaic. Hops that we know work together. Can't really go wrong from a highly rated brewery we've not tried. I like it. I do like it. So, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. The next one then. So we're going to Third Barrow, who I believe are from Dublin. Is that right? It's from the Republic anyway. Yeah, Dublin. There we go. So Third Barrow, Mr. Blue Sky. So this is a Nelson Mosaic Citra and Simcoe IPA. 7% ABV. This is another one that the camera is going to hate. Yeah, it's like a fingerprint with a hop on it. That is pretty cool. Lovely artwork on this, but yeah, 7% IPA. And this is a New England one. It's got oats and wheat in it. So that is going to be pretty good, I have to say. Looking forward to that. Third barrel. Um, I've got a few more comments coming in. Uh, oh, here we go, here we go. Looking forward to the fancy bum collab between you and Harry. Yeah, when Harry gets his own brewery up and running, there is going to be a beer. I think there should be a Scotch ale called Fancy a Bum. I'll need to get talking to Harry about that. So we'll need to do a 69. We'll call it a 69 shilling, I think. A 69 shilling Fancy a Bum Scotch ale. There we go. Or Because the Scotch ale is fo it's foreign enough. It's got a naughty number in it. And then it's got fancy a bum. So what's not to like? Yeah, sixty nine shilling fancy a bum. Here we go. Staying at the Gart, uh, staying at the in the Gart Hill Lodge for the night from tomorrow. It's on. It's in the tent. Let me see this. Where's the Gart Hill Lodge? At Gart Hill Lodge, Falkirk, a holiday flat. And in, in actually, it's quite fa quite fancy. <laughs> you're next to the ah. You're next to the hospital in Falkirk. Watch out for the junkies then. <laughs> yeah, watch out for the junkies for sure. Well, I hope you'll stay safe. Stay safe, Leonard. We're all thinking of you. Um, I had a Strata Hop IPA two or three nights ago. Lovely tropical fruit aroma, but it lacked flavour. Mm. That's a shame. That's a shame. So it's the, um, who was it from? Which brewery was it from? Uh, we've got Johnny. All right, James, how's it going, man? Nice to see you, Johnny. How's it going for you? Doing all right? Just unboxing some Irish beers because that's what we do. That's what we do. Um, how's it going down? I forget. I want to say, is it Salt Coats? I forget exactly which town in Ayr, in Ayrshire that it is you're in. Salt Coats, I think. Um, we'd love that. 69 shilling, fancy a bum. Yeah, exactly. Um, and we're getting Joe going again. Joe always, Joe always laughs at the bum, but I think he likes it, really. I think he does. Um, Third Barrel do a lot of good beer, nice Imperial Stouts. Mm. I think we had, I think I tried a stout from those guys. The first Third Barrel beer I ever got, I'm sure, came through Sistembolaga. It's the only one I've seen from them so far, but it was a collaboration with somebody, if I remember right. Um, mm. So he's saying, 
some foreign Irish ale. Yeah, foreign. Irish ale is foreign. Oh, ooh, yeah. This one. Um, yeah, I like this. I do like this. So, Yellow Belly. Where are these guys from again? Um, Wexford. Wexford is like southeast, is it? If I remember right. I think, yeah, Wexford is like southeast um, of the Republic. But look at the artwork on these cans. It's fabulous. Fabulous. Um, but yeah, Pirate Bay Session IPA. 4.5% ABV. There we go. That looks very, very nice, I have to say. So yeah, the last beer I had from these guys was, I want to see an Imperial Stout, and it was very, very nice. So yeah, some more Yellow Belly beer. Um, oh, and this is a third, oh, Stone, ah yes, yeah, Stone Barrel, Stone Barrel. Right. Um, so this one, Paul did tell me, I think Stone Third Barrel um, is a collaboration brewery between Third Barrel and uh, I forget the stone, what stone brewery it was, but yeah, Stone Barrel Brewing Company. These guys are from Dublin, um, brewed by Stone Barrel at Third Barrel Brewing. So yeah, this is a big hitting IPA, Strata Hops. Yeah, it's kind of weird like that. You go to breweries from different countries and then you see they all get brew beers with the same hops at the same time. So the hops just seem to be on a big rotation around all the different countries. Must just be what the distributors can get a hold of. But yeah, this one is called Like a Boss Strata Double Dry Hopped IPA. So yeah, it's 7 percenter. This should be quite nice. And it looks like it's a New England oats and wheat in the malt bill. So yeah, pretty happy with that. That would be awesome. Yeah. And our last one, our last beer is another uh, yellow belly. This is just called Citra Paleo. Here we go. Did I say the wrong name for the other one? Not oh, Pirate Bay. I did say the right name. So yeah, we're getting some of the lower alcohol things from yellow belly this time. This is pretty cool. Just Citra Paleo, APA. What percentage is it? Mm -hmm. 4.8. 4.8%. It's also got a little bit of fuel melon in it, which is quite an interesting hop. But uh, yeah, that will be pretty nice. So we have a hell of a good selection of Irish beers, thanks to Paul. So massive shout out to Paul Rogers once again. Hmm. Anyway, so let me just flick through the comments quickly. Um, let me see. So I think this was the last one, foreign Irish ale. So yeah, we, um, oh, we've got a, a newbie here. So I don't drink alcohol myself, but I want to stop by and mention how much I appreciate your content. I love how in-depth each video is. And there's a clear passion here that's fantastic. Oh, thank you. You need to start drinking alcohol so you can appreciate it properly. <laughs> but no, thank you for the very nice uh, comment. And uh, yeah, always cool to get folks just checking it out and to, um, to share the thing about craft beer, it's great. I say, I just like tasting different things. That's what the whole channel is uh, is all about. So yeah, why not? Still need to figure out why it, this room is purple. Though. Need to figure out that. And I'm just using my webcam on my laptop, so I really don't know why. I don't know what the deal is. And it's not one of the settings because it actually behaves itself normally in other rooms. It's just this one room. You always get purple James when he goes to school. Just purple haze all the way. But yeah, thank you for the nice comment. I recently tried the Nigerian and Belgian Guinness. Very nice. Okay. Um, yep, yeah, Southeast, that's Wexford then. Yeah. Do you also have the Irish one too to go alongside it? Of course. And your favourite? Nothing beats the original. Um, Hotwise must be a good salesperson pushing it on the wall. Potentially, yeah. Potentially, yeah. Uh, I have said an incurred one. Uh, ah, okay. I'm not sure what you mean. It's very not 100% sure what you mean there. Uh, listening to the new Dream Theater album. Ah, okay. Yeah, I've not, I didn't even realize they'd released a new one. Dream Theater. I always liked Mike Portnoy. Um, but Dream Theater, I'm more into, I'm more into like, you know, Sabaton and things like this. I could actually show you. Um, I've got all my metal CDs up here. Yeah. That's my wall of metal, heavy metal. So yeah, lots of things. The newest album I got actually was this one, Epica. 
Let me just take this away. This is the newest album I got, Epica Omega. That girl can sing. She can sing. There you are. Not sure how well that's showing up. There you go. Epica Omega. I need to put that in, actually. See, this is how much OCD I have. All of these are in alphabetical order by artist and then by release date. So easy to find. That's how I remember them, by release date. So there we are. Um, is my jumper not purple? No, it's not. This jumper. This one is actually purple. This is like black. I don't know what the deal is with the purple. But this one is my, where you go? Yeah, this is my Durham University one when I did my teacher training. So yeah, this one is actually purple because that's the university's color. This one is not purple and those curtains behind me are black. So I don't know what's going on. I really don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's really weird. The purple room. Um, yeah, maybe Prince lives in your laptop now. Oh, maybe it does. As long as it's not Prince Andrew, as long as it's not Prince Andrew, then that wouldn't be safe. Um, you being incorrectly, James, the 750. The, uh, the Amacord one, I still couldn't find that much information on that brewery. And it wasn't, that Amacord one isn't 750. That's a, it's a 330, but it looks like a big bottle. But no, I couldn't, I still couldn't really find information on that. Uh, on that brewery, the links that you sent me, there was just um, there was just a little bit. Uh, there, there was there was just a tiny little bit. There wasn't that much actually, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, we need to talk about that. Uh, but old school foreign thrash. I do have some old school foreign thrash. Where is it? Mm, I, I see it. I see the old school foreign thrash. There you are. Creator, Phantom Antichrist. There's your old school foreign thrash. Yes. Um, pardon me, get a bit of gas off that. Moving too quickly. But yeah, Epica are awesome. I agree, Epica are awesome. But um, yeah, guys, I think that is about time for us to uh, sign off almost. So we'll just go through a quick run through of the beers from back to front then, why not? So, from Yellow Belly, we had the Citropaleo. We also had the Pirate Bay Session IPA from Yellow Belly. Nice. And then from, yeah, from Stone Barrel, we had the Like a Boss Strata, a little dry hopped IPA, very nice. Uh, then, from third barrel, we had Mr. Blue Sky, an IPA, 7% ABV. These guys are from Dublin as well. Then we had a couple of beers from Beer Hut, which would be quite cool. So we had the Solo Series Strata IPA. That would be very cool. We have the Bring the Thunder Raspberry Cherry Coconut Sour. Yeah, these guys from Northern Ireland, by the way. Uh, then we have the, um, these guys are from Khalil, remember, in the very southeast of Northern Ireland. Uh, and this one is the Galaxy Mosaic Cornet, double IPA. That should be very interesting. Uh, and then we go on to, what were these guys called again? Bullhouse Brewing Company. And these guys are from Belfast as well. So yeah, Frank the Tank, Bullhouse Brewing Company, a paleo. And then we have the Big Axe, a double IPA, 8% ABV. That should be quite nice. Um, yeah, then we have the Kinnegars. So let's, how do we go about this? That's the IPA, we'll start with the Paleo. Yep, so we have the Lime Burner, Paleo. We have the Scraggy Bay IPA. We have the Big Bunny, East Coast IPA, a New England, I'm guessing. Should be quite nice. Yeah. Um, I don't know if this one, they probably wouldn't be able to sell that one in Sweden because of the, the rabbit label. I was talking to, to uh, Paul about this earlier. But then, um, yeah, this one here, uh, 
crossroads, American IPA. So I'm guessing this one's more a West Coast. I'm curious to see exactly what kind of IPAs these are going to be. Because one of them says an American IPA and this one just says an IPA. So not 100% sure exactly what we're going to get from these, but we will certainly find out. Um, then it was... So, which brewery was this again? That's going right out of my head. That's terrible. Modest Beer. Modest Beer from Hollywood, Northern Ireland. See, this is an oatmeal stout. Not got many dark beers, actually, but yeah, this one is a dark beer. The oatmeal stout. Then we have the West Bay Citra Pale Ale from Lakada, which should be good as well. Um, then we have the uh, Mourn Mountains Brewery, the Moto Psycho Nightmare, a vegan chocolate and vanilla marble cake stout, 8% ABV, hellish good beer, apparently. That would be very, very nice. Is this a collaboration, actually? Hmm, could be. Not 100% sure. We'll need to look into that a little bit. And uh, then we also have um, Dot Brew, just called Drop, a double dry hopped session IPA. That should be quite nice. There we go. But yeah, 4.5% ABV. And those gentlemen and ladies, if they're watching, are your Irish beers. So, um, let's see. So, Let's just look at this. So, uh, Epica are awesome. Creator, the German Slayer. <laughs> um, cheers, man. Yeah. Nice to have you along. And the American Slayer was a bad band. They didn't really use much in the way of guitar harmonies and things like that, did they? But I have to admit, I did like Jeff Hanneman and um, Dave Lombardo. I did like them. But, yeah, it was. Their music was not the most... Um, how do you say? It was more, yeah, riffy, but yeah, not really much in the way of harmonies and things like that. But I did I did enjoy a bit of Slayer. I did enjoy a bit of Slayer, I have to say. Um, you need to look into Iron Butterfly. Mm, I'll put that in Google so I remember. Iron Butter. I a rock band. Mm. I'll, have, I'll have a little look at that later. I'm um, looking forward to seeing these Irish reviews. I'm Irish. Awesome. Nice to get more Irish followers on. Um, always. And, uh, oh, I'll send you the story of the Italian beer. I will send you double work payment. I'm all right. <laughs> yeah. Um, creator greater than Slayer. Musically, I agree. I do agree. I think Creator are a better band than Slayer. I need to really listen to Anthrax. I've not really listened to Anthrax, but I'm just looking at the bands that I have here. So I have um, Akrasa Kalda, who are uh, uh, an Iraqi thrash metal band. Those guys are awesome. I have... Let me see, Aelstorm, yeah, <laughs> Aelstorm, Amon Amarth, Angra from Brazil, Anvil, Ashes of Aris, Timo Tolki's Avalon, Blaze Bailey of Iron Maiden fame, I love Blaze Bailey, Blind Guardian, uh, Bruce Dickinson solo stuff, Candle Mass, I love a bit of Candle Mass, um, Cellar Darling, those guys used to be in LUV tape, I have some dream theater those are all yeah those are all dream theater then levt itself um and Sifferum. i love those guys epica uh, firewind oh yeah those guys do some good stuff then we have gamma ray some german power metal we've got a little bit of grand magus hammerfall classic swedish metal there halloween i love halloween um we have a uh, Who's that? That's Iced Air. Yeah, Human Fortress, actually. Yeah, I've got a bit of Human Fortress in there. They're a German band, not so well known. But yeah, Iced Earth, Iron Maiden, uh, Camelot, Creator, Megadeth, Metallica. Um, we have, what else have we got there? Let me see. Again, Nightwish, Primal Fear, Powerwolf, Sabaton, Rhapsody of Fire. Slayer, yeah, quite a lot of stuff in there. I can't be bothered looking at the very bottom shelf and pulling all that out, so we're not going to do that. But yeah, there we go. There we go. So, true, Anthrax was a good band for its time. These comments always come in a little bit late, right enough. Candle, candle mass music videos are hilarious to watch. I do agree with that because they're very old. Messiah Markelin, 
yeah those guys are oh no they're from stockholm i think there's another quite famous swedish band who are from uh, Halmstad, which is quite close to me um i want you keeper of the seven keys yeah <laughs> i want out yeah that's an awesome song i like march of time and eagle fly free as well those are good english fichtenberg still one of the best drummers around and tom and stalk for uh, blind guardian those two were just unreal tom and stalk was an awesome awesome drummer um damn auto correct and megadeth got to love them yeah do enjoy a little bit of megadeth um nervosa from brazil mm. well i like angra angra i think are the only brazilian man i listen to but i need to actually listen to sepultura i've heard some of their stuff and they are not too far away from creator if memory serves me correctly so i do need to listen to a little bit of sepultura definitely but anyway that's enough metal i should have you know that was when i started out the channel it was intended to be uh, beer and metal reviews, but the the metal reviews just never. I think I did like two of them. And um, what was it? I think I did an Iron Maiden one, and I also did um, Hemotoki's Avalon, the very first album that they released. I did a review of that. So um, yeah, you can go and check those out in the channel somewhere. I think they are still live. You can check that out. But um, yeah, anyway. I think it's time for me to head off. This was just a wee unboxing stream. I haven't done one in a little while, so I thought, why not? But uh, yeah, check out so uh, Sepultura's first album. That's about it. Hmm, okay, I'll look into that. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you to Paul from Dalriada Imports. Uh, where did I put this? Oh, there it is. Paul from Dalriada Imports. He's the one that supplied all of these beers. If you happen to run a bar and you want some Irish beers, this is the man. That you should talk to um but uh yeah we'll see might be getting some might be helping them get some of these irish beers a little bit further afield we'll see what happens but uh yeah if you do want to see some irish beer reviews you should check out this man here window beer thomas and uh, we also have brendan as well his channel name has gone right out of my head that's terrible um let me see um irish beer reviews i need to get this but brendan's channel uh irish beer reviews this isn't going to come up i think when i put this in come to think of it uh no brendan's channel that's terrible what's his channel name what's his channel name let me just bring him up views on brews i think it is brendan so yeah views on brews that's it that's it so yeah guys if you want to see irish some irish beer reviews you can check out Brendan from Views on Brews, or you can check out this man here, Window Beer Thomas. So if you're watching, make sure you subscribe to those guys if you want to see regular Irish reviews, and I do them when I can. So, yeah, awesome. But guys, thank you for tuning in. I hope that I see you guys again sometime soon. Not sure when the next live stream is going to be, but as I say, this was kind of just what I wanted to do. But see you guys soon. It's landed just now, and I'll catch you all later. Back onto the Pepsi Max. See you soon.